Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. And in today's video, we are checking out the Lenovo Smart Paper yet again, because it has received another update now in January 2024. So let's dig in and see what's happening with the Lenovo Smart Paper, where it's heading as a platform and what its developers are focusing on. And here is the latest update installed on the Lenovo Smart Paper. Um, their the nomenclature of updates is actually really kind of tricky. So I'll just continue uh, calling them by the date when they were released or the month and the year. So this one is going to be the January 24. And this is not a large update. They only have like three new things that are added. And um, yeah, basically we can, I think that we can go through them fairly quickly and unfortunately I have factory reset this one um, because yeah I was not using it anymore so I no longer have anything here but I can create a new notepad and then we can actually check things out the new um, implementation is that well basically for the notebooks we have a couple of things. Um, the first one is that we got some n new <laughs> normal functionality in the management of the uh, pages. So it says go to page management to move or delete pages. And I don't know if this is going to be, yeah. So how do we, how do we access page management? That's very confusing. I mean, this icon here and this icon here, they're identical, but if you click on it here and you go to here, it's going to give you page management. And if you get here, even though it's the exact same icon, you get, I don't know, notebook overview for scrolling. Okay. Uh, never mind. <laughs> so uh, yeah, <laughs> UI 101. Make the same icon do the same thing across your um, platform. Anywho, the new things is that we now have some basic stuff that we can do, which is you can long press the uh, page and then we can um, copy it and then we can move it. So move and copy are things that we didn't have, didn't used to have before. So for example, if I want to copy this page, um, it's going to select a notebook and it doesn't, it's not able to select the current notebook. Okay. All right. So now I exit and I have two notebooks and I want to copy from one. So uh, I have to go here and there and then I can select a page and I can copy it only to another uh, notebook. Okay. So then I guess duplicate we will duplicate it in here. That is correct. Okay, cool. Um, so let's see. And it places it just behind the other one. I can move it now. So I can move it to yeah, page number four. I would like it to be, uh, move to current notebook. Okay. Three. And it did move it. Okay, so that kind of works. Can you move a page to another notebook? No, you can't. Then we are missing a function and the function would be cut because sometimes you want to move the page from one notebook to another. And that's basically a copy paste function, but it also deletes the original one. And traditionally, normally in every system that is called a cut function. That's something that we don't have here. So let's, uh, so the only way that you can move or move the page to another uh, notebook is going to be via copy. And then it selects another notebook. And then I can go yes. And it moves it and we can move it to page number one. Okay. And now we should have this. Okay. All right. And there we go. Okay. So that functionality is kind of normal. Um, so that works. Okay. The thing that I would also like to check is that normally I believe that I saw a function to create a new notebook when copying. So if I want to copy, there's no notebook that I want and I want to 
Create a new notebook and copy selected pages into the newly created notebook. Continue? Yes, because that's exactly what I wanted to do. And now we are in a new notebook. So new notebook. All right. So extremely basic functionality, but um, and it would have been nice to see page management of uh, um, yeah the notebooks present to begin with when this uh, platform was released. But um, yeah, here we are, almost a year after, and the platform is starting to have the bare basics there. Not all of them. And the next thing is that um, we also have the search function. And the search function would be, um, I guess, we're, let's say, notebook. What will it find? N no matches found? Didn't I call one of them new notebook? Oh, no book. Okay, so let's rename this. Okay, notebook. All right, and then search again for the same thing are you going to be able to find it yes so it finds the titles of notebooks uh okay so he found something that's okay so let's go here and then he may oh it does okay so let's make a more specific test just to confirm this and i'm going to go here into um I want the search to find this page. I am the yeah, I'm used to the books is scratch out, <laughs> which is so useful. Um, okay, so let's delete. Uh, I'm used. Um, yeah, whatever. Used to books operations. Okay, so first I want to double check if this is actually no, I'm not going to do a uh, text conversion because I want to see if the search is going to do it for me. So what I'm looking for is books. That's going to be a difficult word to find but he managed and he got the correct word. So this is actually uh, really useful and it was so easy for him to kind of think, hey, this is actually a book, but he actually figured out that it's books. So that search is a very important new edition and it is uh, the first real proper addition of functionality to the Lenovo Smart Paper. It's a very, very nice thing to see. Now, the, uh, the third uh, and the final edition is uh, basically the same for uh, both documents and notebooks. And it's just simply an optimization of, um, yeah, when you're sharing and exporting a page. So, for example, if I'm in a page and I want to select it and then I can share, then we can share it as a PNG um, as well. And then you can share it across the apps. That's what they say. But the one I'm kind of thinking is like, since you don't have a Google Play Store here, then it's kind of very strange that this is the way to do it. But at least you can do it to Google Drive, you can do it to email and you can print it. And that's more than what I would that that's all that I actually needed to. So I can um, easily print it out, they can easily send it to Google Drive or easily email it to myself or further on so that I can actually work with it. So yeah, that that actually works. And then there's also bug fixes and improvements and things like that. Okay, so Lenovo Smart Paper is being kept alive. Uh, a little bit um, but I would have to characterize this update as mediocre and the only reason why it's mediocre the only value that you actually have is the uh, handwriting search recognition which is really really powerful and meaningful functionality however all of these things everything I mean it's all usable and it's all necessary and needed so this is this is all stuff that definitely this device needs but I find it 
absolutely and completely inexcusable that these things are coming almost a year after the platform has been released and that massive issues still have not been fixed and yeah all of that kind of stuff so it's still uh, a painful <laughs> story with Lenovo Smart Paper because again I maintain it's a fabulous hardware design and a fabulous hardware execution. The writing feel, the surface, all of it is extremely good on this device. But the software of it is simply incomplete. It's not finished. It's not complete. I don't know what their strategy is. It's limping along. And my honest hope is that the device is not killed by Lenovo completely before the updates limp along to get it to a place where this device rightfully should have been from from the launch day um, so yes the update is definitely a step in the right direction but it's coming way way too late in my honest opinion I hope that you found the video informative or useful at the very least. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel and ding the notification bell in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.